Hello and welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today we're going to talk about circling and circling to land and instrument procedures and why circling might be not authorized or NA. So let's start off with a good example at an airport that I frequently fly into, Vivian, Louisiana. And here we have a approach header chart. This is the VOR DME Alpha. And we can see on the chart, it clearly says circling NA north of runway 927. So NA means circling is not authorized. Okay, so we cannot circle to land north of runway 927. Now, why would that be the case? Frequently, obstacles. So I'm going to show you a video that I took while flying into Vivian to show you the obstacle that is right to the north of runway 927. Now here you can see the tower, I'm zooming into it here, that is right close to the airport. So that hopefully showed you why circling is not authorized as one example in Vivian. Now, what about doing a circle where it says on the chart something like you can't circle certain direction from the airport that you think, okay, that's okay. I just won't circle on that side of the airport. I will just circle on the other side of the airport. Okay. There's a problem possibly with this, depending on your airport, because 14 CFR 91 126 Bravo 1 says very clearly, if we are operating at class G airspace, so uncontrolled airport, we are required to make all turns when we are flying to the left, unless the airport has approved markings indicating that we can make turns to the right, in which case we make all turns to the right. And we typically call that making right traffic. So here's the problem with just saying, oh, I'm just going to circle the land on the other side of the airport. And let's go back to the Vivian example. The chart says very clearly, circling not authorized north of 927. So here is my direction that I'm approaching the airport from. It's drawn on my airport diagram. This is just the bottom part of the VOR DME Alpha at Vivian as one example. In order to circle to land, if we wanted to land on runway 9, for example, I would have to, in order to make left traffic, I would have to fly over the airport and make my left traffic pattern to land on runway 9. But the problem is that circling has been not authorized, is not authorized in this area. So that's a problem. Unless right traffic is published, and where can I find that information? Well, it's not on the instrument approach chart. Kind of a little gotcha there. I, I kind of see people missing that sometimes. Well, here we could look at the VFR sectional chart. We could also look at the chart supplement, but this would be good to look at in advance. And when we do pull up Vivian, I don't see anything about right traffic for runway nine. So that means if we go back to 91126, this says we have to make all turns to the left unless the airport says we have right traffic published. And Clearly, it's not published at Vivian. So back to my Vivian example. Um, the only way that I, the only runway I can really circle to at Vivian would be to runway 27. Um, and I could make a turn like that. As I see the airport, I could enter a left base and get myself lined up on runway 27, assuming I saw it in time and I had space to maneuver. So if right traffic were published, we could see that on a VFR sectional. Here's an example at Athens. You see there they have a right pattern clearly published to runway 36. Okay, so um, the deal is, can I circle if right traffic is required, like at Vivian, like if I want to land on runway 9? It's not published, so I cannot circle the land under my instrument approach clearance. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. 
Now, the only get around to this that I have thought of and, and brainstormed with some other more well-versed friends of mine would be you could fly the VOR DME approach the, at Vivian. You could hopefully get out of the cloud in time to cancel your instrument flight plan, change over to the VFR. So now I'm flying visual flight rules. Okay, so if I'm visual flight rules, then I am not bound anymore by that not authorized area. And again, if I were able to maintain VFR, so visual flight rules, cloud clearance requirements, ceiling requirements, then I could fly over the airport and enter my not authorized area. And, but I would not be doing a circle to land anymore. And furthermore, you as a pilot, so if I'm doing this, I as a pilot would have to maintain obstacle clearance responsibility. And as you saw in the video, there are some obstacles that are fairly close in to Vivian. And I want to show you one more example where it's even more black and white and confusing to me why this procedure even exists. So here's an example at Sulphur Springs where we have, again, guess what, circling NA, mm -hmm, not authorized east this time of runway 119er, okay? So I've been over here to Sulphur Springs also, and there are some obstacles that are like ridiculously close to the runway. So here is the obstacles, and like the runway is right here. I don't, I don't know how they ended up with obstacles so close to the airport, and there's another one. Um, but mainly these two obstacles that are right here, like right on top of the airport. So, okay, it makes sense that they say, yeah, you can't circle east of runway 119 because of the obstacles. But here's the crazy part to me. You cannot even circle to runway 119 on this RNAV to runway 1 because, again, right-hand traffic would be required. So I would have to enter, for example, a left downwind. So that puts me in this area that is not authorized because if I look at Sulphur Springs, there's nothing on here about making right traffic for runway 19. So really, again, the only way to land on that runway from that approach would be fly the approach, cancel instrument flight plan, change over to visual flight rules, then you could fly in that not authorized area. But again, you maintain the obstacle clearance responsibility. And uh, really at Sulphur Springs, those obstacles, they are right there. So again, provided I know those exist, I can see and avoid them. I have to be careful, but I really cannot do a circle to land to runway 19. And I actually incidentally did try reaching out to the FAA Aeronautical Charting Office about why the circling minimums are even published on the approach on this VO, on this RNAV approach to runway one over at Silver Springs. And I, I did not get any satisfactory answer. So who knows? Anyway, hope you enjoyed that look into circling and circling being not authorized. Fly safely. Check out my other videos about instrument procedures. Hopefully you learn something today.